is I can't actually email her. I'd have to copy it, then paste it. Not not a huge deal, but when it comes to user experience, it can be. So that's that's kind of number one. Is I do like that there's above the rim. You know, call us, whatnot. Um, I will say that. I mean, I assume she does just generic physical. Okay, here we go. Physical therapy for back pain, online coaching for back pain. So it sounds like she does just back pain, um, which is totally fine if that's her thing. Now, I'm just going to jump right into the actual performance because um, after those other things, you know, the technical on-site page speed, user experience, you're going to want to look at their performance of blogging. So there is a blog. I don't know if you noticed this, but there is a blog here. It actually took you to another mind body back solutions this is interesting it took us to another completely different website right yeah this is whoa this is very fascinating I wonder why this is like that powered by mind body back solutions I wonder if this is not if she like paid someone to do this um, I actually don't know what this is. I don't know why you would do this. So this is like a pretty, unless there's something I'm missing, I, I'm not talked to this, you know, nice lady. So I don't know, but I would not do this because what's, what's happening is mind body back solutions is going to get any sort of authority from these blogs. I, you don't even have to tell if they're good or not. So mind body back. So it's her. So she has two websites. It looks like. So I don't know, this is weird. I don't know why you would do that because you would want to send the traffic here, but we're going to go ahead and jump into the back end. So again, uh, if you don't have a, see, if you don't have a blog, Google doesn't know your relevancy, then your keywords are going to be low. Her organic traffic is two. So she's on the third page of Google. See, this is the thing, 96% of people click page one. So this is where you need to do all of it. The, the high quality niche oriented backlink building. You need to do a thousand words minimum on a blog, but you can't just write an article. You need to go figure out what keyword phrase, and then you need to actually write it in a certain amount of like passive voice. It has to be like good with the user experience within the content. There's a lot of criteria that goes into it. That's why like, for example, at Reborn, we have three people that touch one piece of content. You got a content writer, then you have someone that actually goes over an editor, and then you have an SEO specialist to make sure they get found. So the next thing I'll dive into is the backlinks. The backlinks are non-existent. So this, this website's never going to get traffic because there's no blogs to it. It's going to a different website. So let's just do this just for fun. Let's, I don't know what her other site is about. It's fascinating, but let's just do this. See if this one gets more traffic. Resolve back pain naturally. Home. What if I hit home? It just goes to interesting. So she has two, a blog, completely separate page. And then. It looks like you don't have much traffic. Okay, none of these sites have traffic. So there's no SEO being done to them. Um, and again, this physical therapist, she's not going to get, especially being in Salt Lake, that's a big city. So I would give this one more like a, again, not try to be mean. I like the look of it. I like what she's trying to do. It looks good. Um, but I'm going to give it like a 2.5 or 3 out of 10 because there's just no... There's no real good um, things happening when it comes to the performance. I mean, maybe we can give it a three, but like even on the technical SEO, let's see. Yeah, 45 out of 100. So this website is pretty blank on the back end. That's what that means. The technical uh, SEO is going to be one of the big technical on site. That's a big thing. So this website, I would give a three out of 10. Um, really, remember, guys, technical, on site, page speed, user experience that has to do with your website all of those things and then everything you need like you need to have like you know for example if she was trying to be like uh this would be a blog um why does you know maybe uh hyphen don't do underscores why does my back hurt you know that would be a key word is you know if people are typing this up and then her website this is called url structuring so you could have this be a blog anyways we won't get too much into it, but my point is is that she's never going to be found unless she does things like that with the blog. And that's what SEO is, doing all of this together. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Rome. I hope you have a great week.